Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aurora, I'm a beauty blogger from the UK and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this summery look with this gold and blue eyeshadow and this glowy bronzy skin. I say bronzy, for me I'm obviously very pale so I probably look very pale to the rest of you but to me this is a very bronzy look. If you've come over from my social media or my blog then thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch my first YouTube video. I'm really excited about it, it really means a lot to me and I would love it if you could just give me a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button so that you can find out when I make my next video. So if you want to find out how I got this look then just keep watching. To start off with I'm going to prime my skin with the Revolution Pro Radiant Cool Pink Primer supposed to be an illuminating primer so it's got a pink tone to it. So for foundation today I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in the shade 0 0.5 and I really really like this one at this time of year. It's very lightweight, it really helps to even out my skin tone and it just doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't give too much coverage. I like to apply this by pumping it directly onto my skin and then blending it out using my Real Techniques sponge. So once that's all blended out I'm going to go in with concealer and the one that I use is the Bourjois Radiance Reveal and it's in the shade 01 Ivory and it's just a nice lightweight one, it doesn't have very much coverage so I am on the market for a new concealer, if you've got any suggestions for dry skin please leave them in the comments down below for me. And again blending out with a sponge but this time we're going for the mini Real Techniques one. So now that our concealer is blended out I'm going to start contouring and for this I really like the iconic multi-use contouring set. One that I'm going to start with is the brown right here and the way I like to use this is on a flat top contour brush like this one and this one is by Iconic as well. So I'm just going to go lightly into the contour kit and just start off with my cheekbones. And then going into the hairline and just down the side of the jaw. And once I'm done with that shade, I then like to go in with a second shade just to deepen things up. So I'm going to go with the darkest one over here. And again, just going in very delicately, just tapping once into this, just so that I don't go in too harsh. And then just blending and softening it a little bit, just with the foundation that was left on the sponge. So next up, because this is a summery tutorial, I want to look extra glowy, extra highlighted and so one of my favourite products for that is the Iconic London Illuminator and I've got mine in the shade Shine which is the lightest and it's so good for giving a really wet and gleaming highlight. You see how reflective that is? And once I'm done with that and I'm happy with it, I just like to soften it out, blend it a little bit more just with the sponge again. And I'm also just going to add a little bit just on my top lip, just on my cupid's bow. And then I like to use the leftover from that just on the nose. And let's be a little bit extra just for fun. I'm gonna do one dot on the forehead just for some extra glow. And just for a little bit of extra definition around my nose, I'm just going to dip my angled Morphe E47 brush, dip that just a little bit into the first shade that I used from the contour kit and just 
very lightly contour and to blend that out I'm going to go back in with the smaller sponge. So next up I want to start setting things in place and I'm going to do that with my RCMA No Colour Powder and I only use this for my under eyes and my jawline as well just because it's a bit too matte for me for my whole face it would kind of ruin the glow and just taking care not to get it on the liquid highlighter just so that we don't reduce how glowy it is and mattify it Next up, I like to do my brows, and I'm currently loving the L'Oreal Paradise Pomade Ecstatic. It looks very similar to the Benefit one, but it just comes in a rose gold packaging. And I like to use this on an angled brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I believe it is the number 12 brush. I have actually just reviewed this on my blog, so if you're interested in reading that, you'll be able to find the link in the description box down below. And now that I've filled them in, I'm just going to set my brows with the Max Factor Natural Brow Styler, just to keep them in place. So before I move on to the eyes, I'm just going to finish with the rest of my base, and for that I'm using the Bourgeois Poudre de Riz de Java. So when you tap out the powder, it's pink and it seems to have a little bit of glitter in there. So it's not a matte powder, it won't make you look flat, it's just a little bit more illuminating and I really like it for my dry skin. Only thing with this powder is it does have a bit of a scent, it smells a little bit old fashioned so if you use too much and it goes up your nose, you might sneeze, um, and if you're sensitive to fragrances, you may not like this powder. Okay, so we're moving on to the eyes now, so I've zoomed you in a little bit. And the first thing that I want to do is prime my eyes and carve my eyebrows out at the same time, because I haven't done that. And my absolute favorite product at the moment for this is the P. Louise Base. So I like to take it on a blank canvas cosmetics F17 brush, and I'm going to pass it into my eyelid but then I'm also going to use it to carve out my brow. And then what I like to do quickly after applying the base is just blend it in to the foundation using the micro sponge as well. So now we're primed, we're gonna move into the first eyeshadow and today I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette. So the first shade that we're going to take is the lightest brown in the top row, just in the middle. And I'm going to take that on a nice big fluffy brush. This one is by Iconic London again. I think it's actually a concealer brush. I'm just gonna pick that up. And I'm just gonna start by patting it into my crease, just to build up the color first. On to our next colour now, and I'm going to take the medium brown, which is just in the bottom row over here. And for this one, I'm going to use another fluffy blending brush, and again, this is just by Iconic London. And this time, I'm going to focus the colour just a bit closer into the crease, rather than taking it up so high. And then just going back into the first brush, just to make sure it's properly blended out. What you should start seeing at this point is a really nice gradient between the two browns. So next up on a much smaller brush I'm going to be using the Morphe M138 and this time I'm taking the darkest brown down here and it's very pigmented, I'm only going to pick up a little bit and I'm going to pop that in the crease but I'm just going to try and focus it more on the outer corner. 
And I'm just going back in with the brush that we used for the medium brown. And again, blending it out. What you should get at this point is a really nice blown out smoky effect. So once you're finally finished with all that blending, you can move into the first metallic shade. And I'm going to be using the gold from the palette. And this one is super pigmented, so I'm just going to take it on a stiff, flat brush like this one. And I'm focusing this on the two inner thirds. And now, just to give the whole look just a bit more dimension again, I'm going to hop into the shade in the middle, the darkest metallic brown. I'm just going to use the same brush, but just on the other side. And I'm going to pack this one on, on that outer third. And just make sure to really blend out. And now I'm going to take that brush I used for the medium brown again. And I'm just going to blend out the edges. Okay, so I think we've done enough blending on the top lid. So before I move on to the bottom one and to our pop of colour, I just want to add some liner. And my favourite one is the Inglot Gel Liner in black. And I like to use it on a Zoeva 315. Okay, I lied, we're gonna do a little bit more blending. Taking that Morphe M138 again, because I'm not doing a wing or anything, I just want to soften the edge of the liner and make sure it's blended into the browns. Okay, let's move on to the fun part of the look, which is the blue, and I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit of that P. Louise base again on my brush, just to make sure that I get a really, really, intense blue and again I'm just going to take that sponge and make sure it's blended into my concealer so obviously the Huda Obsessions palette does not have a blue although I think their electric obsessions one may do so I'm going to pick up another palette and I'm going to go in with my Morphe 35B and the shade that I'm going to go for is this lovely metallic blue over here so any sort of shimmery metallic aqua blue will do and just going to take it on this flat eyeshadow brush pack it on and then blend it out I'm just making sure it's blended out into the browns and we have a smooth transition. In my waterline, I am just going to add a blue eyeliner, again, just for a little bit of contrast. And I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Gel Crayon and this is the shade I've Got The Blue. Now I'm just going to quickly apply my lashes and mascara off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so for mascara, I went with the Urban Decay Perversion, which is my absolute favorite. And then for my lashes, I use the Ardell 415s, not too over the top, but they just add a little bit of volume and give the eye a very nice shape. So they're very flattering and I definitely recommend them. Now I quickly want to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner before I finish my face. I'm going to go in with the highlighter I'll also be using on my cheeks and it's an absolute classic. It's the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. So for my brow bone I'm just going to take this Morphe M558 brush 
And I'm like this because it just perfectly fits the shape of my brow. I've also just realised I've got a load of blue fallout on my nose, which I hadn't seen yet. So here we are, just going to quickly clean that up too. Okay, I'm now fallout free, so I'm now going to move on to bronzer. And I'm going to use this L'Oreal Glam Bronze in Blonde Harmony. And I just take it on this angled brush by Iconic. So to carry on with the summer skin, the blush I'm going to use is the L'Oreal Life's a Peach Blush. And you've probably heard about this one, it smells amazing. It actually smells like peaches. I feel like I'm on holiday when I use this. And I'm just gonna dust a little bit just over my forehead, my nose, and my chin as well. So the liquid highlighter that we put on earlier is still really nice and intense, but I do just want to take it to the next level. So I'm just taking Champagne Pop again, and I'm taking it on this highlighter brush by The Felly. Yeah, The Felly. And just going back over where we applied the liquid highlighter earlier. Okay, so all we've got left now is lips. So I'm going to start off with the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Manila. And it's a really pretty, nude, slightly corally shade. So I really, really like it at this time of year. And after letting it dry down for a bit, I'm just gonna finish it off with the NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel. Okay guys, that's it for this first look. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. I'm feeling lovely and bronzy and glowy and summery and really wasn't that tricky to do. It does just involve a lot of blending with the shadows, just a little bit of patience. But I really think other than that, it's really something that anyone could do, no matter your level and your skill at makeup. So guys, if you did enjoy this first video, then please do make sure you give it a big thumbs up. That would mean the world to me. And also press the subscribe button so that you know when I put my next video out. I'm already looking forward to making the next one, honestly. If you do want to see more of me, then make sure you follow me on social media. That's Aurora Blogs. And you can also check out my website, which is aurorblogs.com. And I'll see you all on my next one. Bye.